Yay, Peridot actually gets to be in the action. I'm happy. Do it! You won't! My son! Bismuth is back! My nigga Bismuth got freed! Oh! Oh! What? Come, tell me. <laughs> yeah, hang on a sec. What? <laughs> oh, this is the first time she meets Peridot. We're not doing this again. This is all gonna take a turn for the worst tomorrow, man. Hey guys, welcome back to another Steven Universe review. And yes, we're back with normal hair and we're back with normal on the problem. So, today's episode of Steven Universe called Maid of Honor. I have one thing to say about it. Free my nigga Bisbeth! Work! My nigga Bisbeth is free, man! And she's not going back for a long time, and I'm so happy about that. So, this episode focused on Bismuth's return, pretty much. Her second return. And it was basically about um, everyone setting up the wedding, and Steven wants to bring back Bismuth because Sapphire is over there crying saying only 10 people because there's only 10 15 people in each city and she says I, I wish all of our other friends would be able to make it I, I, I just wish they would be able to make it and the only person that they know of is still around and you know not corrupting his business so Steven goes down there to free Bismuth and tell her about Pink Diamond and when Bismuth uh re-emerges and she's in the burning room and she sees all these like bubble gems around them of her friends she thinks like wait rose bubble to everyone who sees who disagreed with her what the shit and then she sees biggs right and it turns out biggs who was mentioned in uh bismuth's debut episode was one of the main creatures that jasper was using to like make a corrupted gem art and i thought i thought i thought that was cool i i, I kind of want to see who skinny ace looks like but no, she she doesn't know about the corruption one because she got bubble before that. So she basically unbubbles Biggs, and it turns out there's a monster. Stephen um, puts a bubble around Bismuth and himself, and then Bismuth crying proves Biggs and bubbles her again. And then Stephen tells her about the diamond attack because this was like only a diamond could have done this. It had to have been pink. Why didn't Rose just let me shatter pink? And and then Steven tells her the whole deal about Pink Diamond's fake shattering. Bismuth pretty much takes it pretty well. Um, she takes it better than the other gems. She goes into some lava and yells into the lava at first because it's a big, such a big shock. She says, no, I'm good. Just give me a minute. Ah! And then, and then she's cool now. And Steven tells her about the wedding because he says, yeah, you're taking it better than Garnet. Who, um, who unfused. And Bismuth pretty much has the same reaction that Steven did in the last episode. They're my favorite couple, what the shit? And so Steven officially invites Bismuth to Ruby and Sapphire's wedding, and they plan on making it a big surprise and Steven's the only one who knows that Bismuth is coming to the wedding. And Bismuth, who sees like, wait, they, they don't know I'm coming? She runs off because if they wanted her to come to the wedding herself, she would she would have just they would have invited her. So she runs off back to the forge and it and then I, 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 I personally thought that the same thing from Bismuth was going to happen. Like, I knew she wasn't going to get bubbled, but I thought it was going to happen again. Like, they were going to throw it back. They're arguing again. But no, this time they didn't fight. Steven tells her that, that I want you back on the team. Cause, but Because Bismuth takes it as them not inviting her to the wedding takes it as they just don't want me on the team because he attacked her. Yeah, she attacked Steven, and that's not the case. They do want them. 
wasn't her. She just it wasn't her time. And Steven tells her that he wants her back on the team. And Bismuth says, talking like a true leader. And Steven says, no, talking as a friend. And Bismuth is officially back on the main Crystal Gem team. I hope uh, she stays. I hope. I really hope she stays. I really do. I have a feeling she's going to stay for a while, and that makes me happy. And the episode ends with Bismuth reuniting with everyone. She meets Paradox for the first time, and it's, it's also beautiful. And Bismuth's gift to Ruby and Sapphire are wedding rings. And the episode ends with them exclaiming they love it. What did I think of Native Honor? I thought this was a great episode, and Bismuth's return made me so happy. But I didn't like this episode as much as yesterday's episode, simply because yesterday's episode was so cute. And then Bismuth returned this episode. It was definitely needed, but it wasn't better. But it was still a great episode overall. And Bismuth returning was really needed, and I really loved it. I, Free My Nigga Bismuth has finally succeeded. She's free, and she's here to stay, hopefully. So, what did you think about today's episode, Made of Honor? I thought it was great once again. Tell me in the comments below what you thought about it. Um, tomorrow, we're at the Sun, the half hour special reunited. Not just like two episodes matched together, it's an actual half hour special. And that's coming tomorrow, as well as some news about the world of Millie Odyssey at the end of the video. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and as always, take care.